Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Greece in Zante, or known as Sakynthos, to go and check out the island. Now, some people would call this a little bit of a party island, but it is so much more than that. In fact, the party island is only one tiny little area on the island. One of the most photographed shipwrecks and beaches in the world is here, as well as some amazing beaches. I'm gonna go and check out some great Greek cuisine and so much more, come on. So behind me is Cameo Island, which is one of the few private islands in Greece. And if you're familiar with the movie Mamma Mia, the musical, you might know it. Some people say it's paradise. To get to it, you've got to head over a little wooden bridge. Not quite sure how much it costs. We're going to find out. Let's go. We're literally just across from Laganas, and this is an area where people hire boats to go to Turtle Island, which I might do a little bit later, but it's uh, extremely busy at the moment. I mean, look at this. This is a popular spot for photos as well. But it's not that rickety. It looks like it is, but it's not. So beautiful. Look at that. Luckily, I've come at lunchtime where it's a little bit less busy. Gorgeous. I hope they take card because I ain't got no cash. So there's no lifts. You've got to get up these stairs. So there's an actual wedding going on today, which means I can't go down there because it's sealed off, even though they've still charged me full price. But look at this. How beautiful. Imagine getting married there. It does look lovely. It's like someone's put their towels on a washing line. But... There is a little bit of a walkway around this part of the island. However, I don't think the bar is open. See the view over Laganas. Laganas just over there. Wow, well, someone's on a bit of a makeup beach there. Blimey. So you can get in the water down here if you want on the island. But other than that main bit where I can't go down, there's not much here. Is it worth five euros though? I'll let you decide in the comments. Although I can't get down to the main part of the island beach because there's a wedding on, they should have charged less. And I did ask that question, uh, but they said no. Okay, so something else you can do is go to Turtle Island and I've booked a boat to do that for three hours. Uh, and basically, I can explore at my leisure. I am my own captain on this boat, and because I was waiting for around about 45 minutes for them to give me a very small basic boat, they've given me a slightly bigger one, which I'm kind of nervous about, but let's head out to Turtle Island to see if we can see some turtles, and a beach as well, and some caves. So there was the island I was just on, and here is my boat. It's very simple, thrust, backwards, left, right. I've also got a navigation device here as well. It's a shame it's just me on this now because um, it's so big for one person. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there. First of all, I need to turn this. Give it some power. Blimey, not so much power. <laughs> okay, power it up just a little bit. And off we go. Obviously got to be aware of other boats. That boat's come in well fast, like ridiculously fast. What is the rule of the water? Is it left or right? I need to look like I've done this before. Do I look like I have? There we go, well fast. Just cut across there. Wake, whatever it is. Let's go. Woo! So if you're worried about insurance, they actually don't charge you insurance all you need is a driving license or if you've got a boat license you can uh, take something out a little bit bigger but I'm fine with just this I 
the camera's going to be all right like this. Yikes. Better slow, slow down. People over there found a little beach. Now I'm not allowed to go in those caves because, uh, well, I'm not experienced enough, so I wouldn't, but little boats go into the caves over there. So a lot of people come over here to the, whoa, to the beach. However, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep on going. The wake has actually taken all the cushions off. There's even a bar there, look even stop off and get a beer there's another bar look. a floating one. Oh no my swimming shorts how on earth have my swimming shorts they've blown off the boat and gone into the water I need to get them hang on I've got to turn the boat around they're Hollister ones I need to get those Let's see if I can do this with one hand one hand driving the boat and one hand holding the camera whilst picking them up Easy does it. No! I think I've lost him. <laughs> I went over them and now I can't see him. Shorts, come back. They're there, they're still there. God, this is stressful. I was trying to just have a nice boat ride. I didn't expect my shorts to fly off the boat. Right, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna swing past. I've got this. Please, I've got this. Don't go over them, don't go over them, don't go over them, don't go over them. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, I've got them! Well, that was worrying for a minute. Anyway, I've got my essentials. I've got some baklava. I think that's how you say it. Obviously sun cream and a bottle of water. Let's go and explore a bit more. Now, I found a semi-nice beach, but the only problem I've got is, is that I'm too nervous to drop the anchor. Look at those caves over there. The reason is, is because I'll be charged 40 to 50 euros if I lose the anchor or if I damage it randomly. Look how beautiful this is though. Still no signs of any turtles. So you can't see it from here, but it's literally on the other side, just there. There is a big viewing point too, which is up this way. You can get food and drink up here. And there is a little bit of a queue forming for this little outpost that they've put here. Look at the queue just to that little area where you can get a selfie. We'll take a look at it in a moment, but first we need to talk about how dangerous it is up here and the fact that people ignore the signs. Even though there's a massive sign there that says, approaching is prohibited, risk of falling, violators are punished, people still have ripped a hole in the fence to get to a point to see the shipwreck that is slightly better than that viewpoint. It's very dangerous and if you just look at this footage right now you can see people perched on the top i mean look how high it is there was recently falls of the cliff um, people have died taking selfies here so it's very dangerous and people still don't follow the rules and you know you could risk losing your life for a selfie so don't do it see people completely ignore the signs people are walking over there i mean i remember when i was last here you could, there was none of this fence here, you could just literally just go over there and have a look. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right now I'm in the port of Zakynthos and I thought I would go and have a look around because there's some pretty amazing buildings here and a lot of history in the town itself but just look how flat this water is, looking over towards 
the church of Agos and the beautiful harbour with the restaurants and the shops. Let's go and take a look. And this is Solomon Square. There's a little road train there that will actually take you around the town. It does like a 30 minute tour to go and see some of the sites. But uh, a big meeting place and festivals happen here. But it's really beautiful. Check out the church. It is so picturesque. There's not too many people around because um, it's 1.30 hottest part of the day. Let's have a quick look in here, shall we? Let's have a quick look in here, shall we? Wow. So apparently around the corner and to the left is the market square. Not quite sure if there is a market on today, but let's go and check it out. Well, it's called the Market Square, but there isn't really a market here. It's really pretty though. Loads of places to eat here too. Can we go in here to cool down? Wow. There are certainly lots of churches in Greece and there's certainly a lot of churches here. One thing I've come to realise is that you're not allowed to take any video in these churches. You can take photos but no videos. But I struggle to understand the difference really, but they're the rules. It's so hot walking around here that uh, I'm glad that you can actually walk through the restaurants. Of your little Greek houses, these little mini restaurants, but a little restaurants in the square. Now again, I can only show you by photo in here, because I don't think I'll be allowed to film, but we can try again. I can show you the front anyway. Beautiful, look at that. Hello. Hello. Oh, they haven't said anything. Wow, look at the ceiling. Now, as you know, I love going off the beaten track, but I think I've gone a little bit too far this time. I saw these signs to the best view of the island, which has taken me here to a car park where there's no other cars. and I don't even know if I'm allowed to go in. Let's go and check it out. Well, you can see all of this apparently. I wonder how much I'm going to be charged for this because I know I can get a little bit cheaper somewhere else for free. Obviously they hide it. Take card? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ah. Huh? Yes. You let me come in? No, come in. No. Okay. No money. No money. Right, okay. Obviously, you need cash. I don't have cash, I only have card. So it's debatable whether this is the best view of the island, but I know somewhere just further up the road that is free and that probably is. A two minute drive in the car from where I just was and I think the best view of the island is definitely here. Just look at that. So one of the best ways to see the island of Zanti is to hire a car. I hired this car for £10 per day. I booked it in advance, obviously paid for extra insurance. You can be a little bit more adventurous and go for a quad. These will cost you 50 euros per day, so slightly more expensive, 
but if you're a bit more adventurous and you probably want to get a tan whilst you're going around it's probably a, a better idea but actually you can see all of the island and go pretty much everywhere with one of these this is a fiat 500 it's the basic model even comes with a sunroof so yeah i've got a deal here and this is one of the best things about hiring a car because you can go and explore the beautiful greek countryside which does remind me a lot of england apart from the olive trees And one thing you'll notice a lot in Zante is the olive trees. They are everywhere. In fact, Zante produces some beautiful olive oil and olives. You should check them out. Only in Greece, look, no helmets and a guy perched on the back, not even sitting properly on the bike. Crazy. And you can see that a lot of the villagers capitalize on the traffic going to the shipwreck by selling produce Got all these little what are they carpets towels blankets she goes through all these little villages and all these little stops that sell local produce it's worth stopping and going out and a look a lot of these would just leave these here all night as well they sell trinkets and uh, of course they sell olive oil all produced locally look at that <laughs> amazing donkey milk local shop Ah, soap. Soap, yes. Local olive oil, local honey, olives. That's my olive. My name, my telephone, my name. Wow, Extra you make it. From here. Ah, Olive. you take it from here. Amazing. Local wine, four euros a bottle. Local spices. Look at that, local wine, four this euros. Wine, down there, a little bit sweet. Medium sweet. This and this, a little bit sweet. This and this dry, four euros the bottle, home and make. Wow, look at that. Spices. Even spices, fresh oregano, rosemary, thyme, look at that, everything. What? For chicken, five days, no oh. one month. Oh, bless. For chicken, five days. Oh, five days old, hello. hello. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Cute. Amazing. So go and support these local guys selling their produce at the side of the road and of course the, the fresh olives all vacuum packed. Thanks very much. You're welcome, sir. Okay, so let's talk beaches in Zanti. There are so many beaches on this island, it's going to be difficult to go and see them all in one trip. I'm going to try and do my best to go and check out some of the best beaches on the island. Um, this is one beach on the southeast part of the island, which although is not the best beach in the world, is quite nice because of these little rocky coves where you can go snorkeling. But one of my favourite beaches is just down here. Some people call it the Sulphur Beach. This is what it's called. Again, my pronunciation isn't great, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But uh, yeah, chalky white beaches. I mean, look at this view. Absolutely amazing. See people swimming down there. And it's amazing how much activity is still going on underground in Greece. Um, and this beach and the one next to it, there is a strong smell of rotten eggs, that smell of sulphur. There are a few springs in places as well. Let's go down there. These steps are super steep. But we made it. Just look at the colour of the water. Now, you might be surprised to hear that the water here is actually quite cool because of the, uh, the limestone or the chalk, whatever it is. Um, it reflects the sun's heat, so it actually makes it quite cool. It's the same as so on Shipwreck Beach too. Not a sandy beach, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. And the really smelly part of the beach is just further up here. You can see the colour of the water there. It's quite milky because of the springs from the caves just to the left-hand side. There's a big, strong smell of sulphur here. Let's go and quickly go and check it out. So the best time to come down to this beach is before kind of two o'clock, before it goes in the shade or first thing in the morning. A lot of people crammed on a very tiny beach. But like I say, if you want to come down here, you've just got to handle the smell. But if you like the healing properties or what some people say is good for your skin, etc., with the sulfur in the water, come down here. 
And there is one problem about going to all these lovely beaches, is the walk up is so steep. Right now, I'm on the northernmost tip of Zanti, and here is where the Blue Caves are located. You can get these little boats that go to the Blue Caves and the shipwreck literally just around the corner. They take about 15 minutes. But you can also see them from the other side. So right by the Blue Caves, you've got a lovely restaurant, the Windmill Restaurant, and this beautiful little Greek windmill. Look at this. Sails are closed up on it at the moment though. It's probably because it's quite windy. I think somebody lives in there. Look at that. Look at the view from this restaurant though. All the blue caves are around here and as you go in them it's dark and the colour of the water is illuminating the light in the cave so you've got the light from below and that beautiful blue shining upwards it really is uh, an amazing experience once again it's a little bit of a walk down here it's going to be worth it a little freaked out walking through here look at the size of that spider i hope none of these webs are around here there's loads of them on the tree Whoa, that's a lot of steps. Just found that these little places to dive off or jump. Should I do it? Yikes, it's high. <laughs> this one is a little bit higher. I've been told I know it's going to go down this time. So you can get in the water here and do a little bit of snorkeling around to the blue caves if you wanted to but this is a really lovely place to come have some fun i apologize now because you're about to see the fear in my face i'm going to do the big one this is what it looks like up here <laughs> i don't know I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Everybody's watching me. Oh my god. So the smallest one is still pretty high. I mean, it's not that much higher, is it? There's rocks down there. I'm scared. Here goes anything. Three, two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for lunch, and obviously, as I'm in Greece, I thought I'd go for a, a traditional Greek salad. I actually really like Greek salad. Some people think it's a little bit boring, but I love the feta cheese, the olive oil, the olives, the tomatoes, the cucumber. Not a big fan of the peppers, though, or the onions. I might have to get rid of those. But if it's sand between your toes you want, then Banana Beach on the south of the island is the place to be. So up here, there's a, a really nice restaurant and bar right at the top and there's also free parking with shade which is quite nice let's look at this absolutely gorgeous beach is super busy today i think they've put these little palm trees here i think they're dying a little bit And undoubtedly, one of the best beaches on the island is right down the southern end, literally sticking out the bottom end of Zanti, is this. This is a beach where the sea turtles come and lay their eggs as well. Not this time of year, thankfully. 
Looks like someone's just flicked the cliff over there, just flicked a bit off. I think I prefer Banana Beach though, to be honest. But this is all cornered off because this is where the turtles lay their eggs. And you can learn all about the turtles as well for free just here by the beach. I wonder if we can actually see any sea turtles. Yes, we can. Look at that little sea turtle. <laughs> Hello. I think they think I've got food because they're all coming towards me. Hello. They do think I've got food though. But they're both coming. I've got no food for you, sorry. There's a daddy there just chilling, look at that. <laughs> so right now we've arrived in the party capital of Zante and uh, a lot of people think that, you know, Zante is a party island and I think what I've shown you, it's definitely not. In fact, it's only kind of this road. This is known as Laganas. A lot more younger people come here to party, basically down this main strip. And down the end of the strip uh, is Laganas Beach. And Laganas Beach is actually um, pretty nice, but this is where all the bars are. Obviously at night, it's a lot busier. I can't say that uh, I would want to stay in Laganas if you come to Zanti, there's so many other places to stay unless you are looking for a bit of a, a good night out. But the beach is pretty nice here which overlooks Turtle Island and Cameo Island over there to the right hand side but you can park literally on the beach here like so close I'm just gonna park here actually just show you the beach for a sec see right on the beach and you can also get pretty close to the airport here Oh my god! Yikes! Whoa. So it's time for dinner and I asked the lady at the hotel, Elena, where I should go and eat. And she said I should go and eat at the Jasmine restaurant because they do Greek night, which is tonight, and apparently it's supposed to be very good. Let's go in. I'd cross this road. Greek night. Not very busy at the moment. It does look really nice though. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wow, it's still so hot. 30 euros per person then. Traditional Greek menu. So starter I've got, I can't even pronounce it, but I'll show you. So I've got that for starter. Got a Greek salad, main dishes, chicken fillet with mushroom, moussakas or a pork steak, and dessert, well, daily special. So I've got starters going on. This, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. A Greek garden salad, and this, which is apparently for vegetarians, but apparently I must try it. So let's try it. All washed down, of course, with a glass of white wine. These are apparently great leaves. like a fruity taste to it. I wasn't expecting to like that. Okay, let's try this next. That's right. And of course, you can't go wrong with a Greek salad. And that big bit of feta cheese, wow. I don't know if you can hear any of that. The music's brilliant. It's just a little bit too loud.
I really do have a view of the dancing while I eat my masaka. But yeah, I'm right in the middle of it. Now, I've never tried masaka, but really nice. It's got eggplant, aubergine in it. It's got beef, some kind of creamy cheese. It's really nice. Sat near the wrong place. Although it's great to be close to the action, but they were like starting around me a minute ago. Someone's just got to clean those smash plates up. There you go. <laughs> just doing it now. Look, look at that. Professional. So dessert is chocolate cake and orange pie. So chocolate orange. The chocolate cake first. I'm going to try it with the orange because the chocolate and orange is supposed to be good. That's like eating a Jaffa cake. That's really nice. those plates that felt so good the lights have gone down low she's setting fire to the floor what's going on whoa oh my god he's dancing on fire wow i can feel the heat now i've got to keep talking so i don't get demonetized with this but look at this I've never, I've seen Greek dancing before, but I don't think I've ever seen the Ring of Fire. Things, but I have seen Greek dancing. Whoa! Wow, such a great night. Just want to say a massive thank you to the team at the Jasmine restaurant and of course the Greek dancers as well. That was totally amazing. I've always wanted to go to an authentic Greek restaurant and enjoy some Greek entertainment and smashing plates is something I've always wanted to do and now I've done it. Absolutely amazing. I have put their link in the description if you want to go and check out their restaurant next time you're here in Zanti. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed um, and I'll see you in the morning. Let me know in the comments your favorite Greek island. Drop them below. If you want to see more Greece, don't forget you can check out my Crete adventure here or Cos just here. Please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.